let's bring in Matt Pearson, as I say, director of a think tank promoting EU reform. Is the are these kind of results across Europe the best chance for you to see some kind of EU reform? I wonder. Well, I hope so. Uh, I hope it will be a wake up call uh, to politicians across Europe that um, if you offer this polarized choice, which Petros just uh, uh, basically gave expression for between more and more Europe or no Europe at all, um, then sooner or later uh, voters will probably opt for no Europe. And uh, But is there another way? I think there is. I think there is a, a middle ground between those two polarized, in some senses, extreme options um, uh, that uh, sort of has the EU, the European Union, which people are concerned about. It's not the only thing that people vote against in European elections, but the certain element and part of it. Um, there's a there's an option that uh, sees uh, a European Union that does less, that interfere less, it, it, interferes that, it, less it, in people's life, and it, and it, it's sort of back to more common sense basis. Is that the kind of EU that that David Cameron um, dreams of? Do you think? Uh, well, he should <laughs> be dreaming of that kind of EU. Uh, I think it's not miles away from his vision, but there are also a lot of other politicians across Europe. Uh, who are now advocating this option. The Dutch, for example, are very keen on this. Uh, certain men in Scandinavia were very keen on that. And increasingly also in, in Germany, the most important EU member state of them all. So mm. this, is the, this is the great irony in some ways but even, uh, even, that the even, appetite for reform is growing across it, Europe as the anti vote grows as well. But I just wonder, I mean, even, even if David Cameron finds more friends uh, across Europe, I know he was suggesting that Nicolas Sarkozy, the former French president, was was my now to go down the idea of, of greater uh, reform and, and and he was obviously looking for more supporters for that idea that, that David Cameron even if even if that were to happen uh, are those people who have already turned their back on the EU and you know clearly voting in this country for UKIP for example uh, would they turn around and say do you know what I, I, I'm not even going to listen to the argument argument that, that we're getting at EU light for example I, I, I don't buy it and I don't trust it I think they will. I think they, there is a there's a huge swing voting group within within uh, that big at the moment anti EU chunk. I mean, we did some polling on this actually, and and it turns out that at least a third of UKIP voters, uh, voters who would vote for the United Kingdom Independence Party. Uh, if the reform option is open to them, if uh, EU membership can be renegotiated so that EU does less, then they will turn around and back EU membership. So I certainly think that oh. that's true of UKIP, we but it's also see. true of some, some of these other parts as well. So we'll most see. definitely, uh, reform is the best uh, way to, to save the European okay. Union. Okay, I've got to leave it uh, there. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to go back to uh, any of the rest of our guests, but that's uh, Matt Pearson, and you heard from Petros Falusas, and you heard from Joe Twyman as well. Thank That's you, it. Mr. Warburton. Thank you. We'll see you again very soon. I'll be back with Peter tomorrow. Five Live Sports up next.